Thank you for your interest in StatPro Connect edition. This video is part of the series of excerpts from the Increase Your Digital Productivity with StatPro Connect edition live event held at Bentley's Digital Advancement Academy located in Pune, India. This excerpt is titled Foundation Design with Stat Foundation Advanced. The presenter is Bentley colleague Koshal Agarwal, Technical Support Engineer, Structural Design Engineering Analysis. Perfect. So, I'm going to talk about, first of all, the, uh, the part where actually the, the Chris has, uh, you know, uh, has to be there here to present the state foundation. But uh, unfortunately, he's not able to come, so I, I, I'm, I'm just uh, replacing uh, Chris on, uh, on Chris' behalf. So uh, just before Abhijit talked about some of the, you know, the, the foundation design module, even in the RCDC, he shared that, you know, there are some modules available that actually can design foundations. And he also shared in the last part that, you know, RCDC, if he can, can do the... Uh, to the mat design, but of course, you know, from uh, from like uh, from decades, we have a product also which we call as the Step Foundation Advance, which is actually coming really well. And I'm here to share more on what are the updates, what are the enhancements in that particular product over the recent years, so that we can, you know, we we can come to the same lines as uh, what is available to us is in the form of the Step Foundation Advance. But let me introduce the product uh, in just in a quick manner here. So State Foundation Advanced is, is a module that, uh, you know, can even take the, uh, the inputs from the state file, as you can see over here, can input, can take input even from the, from the XLS files or probably from other analysis results. You can just import the results directly from, uh, you know, the NN Excel file. It has three uh, modules, or I would say in mode, general mode, plant mode, and toolkit mode. And uh, let me, uh, let me just go through one. Uh, y by one, uh, so that uh, we can have a little detail on that. It has a good, uh, you know, facility in giving you the good calculation sheet, detailed calculation sheet, and, and uh, also some of the uh, drawings production can be done over the uh, step foundation. So the step foundation journal mode actually can, you know, design the isolated footings, combined footings, pile cap footings, mat footings, and also octagonal and staff footings. Now, the important part here, which probably, uh, you know, as a as a user, I would I would note is that, you know, with STED Pro as in standard version, the STED Foundation Advanced limited version comes along with the STED Pro as an entitlement, okay? And which makes you able to design the isolated combined and the pile caps from this module. Okay, I, I just want to remove the confusion again. In, in the previous versions of STAT, actually we had one module called STAT.Foundation that actually got installed by itself with the VATI versions, even with low, let's say Select Series 4, Select Series 5, or Select Series 6. So we just deprecated that STAT.Foundation totally. It's what we are, uh, are now offering, the STAT Foundation Advanced, in two formats. One is in the limited version, which actually is an entitlement of your STED Pro license. And also the, uh, the STED Foundation Advanced Module which can actually design the, uh, the journal footings as well as the plant footings. That is not part of the, uh, the entitlement of the STED Pro, but it is a part of uh, the Advanced Module. Also, we have some, you know, uh, the plant footings which probably can interest, um, uh, maybe an area of interest. Uh, the vertical vessel foundations, horizontal vessel foundations, the tank foundations, and little drill pair analysis. So, uh, particularly, there are a lot and lot more enhancements has been done over plant module, particularly the uh, vertical vessels in that, you know, the, the codes which actually allows you to calculate the loadings for vertical vessel or horizontal vessel, those are PIP codes, the PIP codes. And those, that foundation functionality is, is that you know you can calculate those loads as per PIP codes, but of course you can design those foundations as per your you know Indian design code philosophy. So that is the part where you know we we enhanced, and I'll just share some of some of the more enhancements. There is one more mode which we call as a toolkit mode. If you if you want to check 
some of the you know the the foundations very very quickly just define some of the loads inside the stack foundation in advance and it will check the capacity uh, and and give you the quick quick design of uh, of the foundations recent enhancements as i said for, for particularly the uh, in the plant mode we had you know several enhancements one of them and the uh, the enhancement is the windows and seismic calculation for vertical vessels so as per indian standards so that was missing uh, before but it is not available it, it is now available so you can calculate the wind and seismic you know forces for the vertical vessel foundations this probably i'll just open a model and show it to you as well and uh, in the tank foundations we have added the uh, the sliding and the overturning checks that uh, the stat foundation advance missing and uh, this is, has been added so now you can you know get the sliding and the overturning check for the for the tanks there are some more enhancements actually on on the general foundations part as well like the isolated footings combined footings and and even on the mat so and uh, now we have the uh, the sliding and the overturning checks even for the mat foundations this was a complicated decision because no code actually allows you to or or gives the specifications using which you can do the sliding and the overturning check for a mat okay so we actually followed a uh, research paper uh, and it has been given in the uh, state foundation help so that you can look through what are the philosophy we are following uh, using which we are doing these checks for a mat that's more important so we have given the the method inside the help so you can have a look at that of course you know we can uh, you know export out the data of the state foundation advance in the form of an ism and then can export into the ifcs so we are better collaborating with with the workflows of you know the the building information modeling so that is a part uh, you know where the the program actually also excelled there are some upcoming enhancements inside sfa apart from you know there's lot and lot more much work has been done over defect mitigations inside sfa the implementation of aci 318 2014 code uh, that is an american concrete design code latest chinese design code probably not you know uh, may not uh, be you know very i would say Uh, a, a, a very good news or probably a, a news for for the indian audience but still you know uh, there are some uh, there are some you know users who need the chinese design code to be available so that they can actually give the inputs inside uh, inside sfa in the form of an english uh, and as an english language and can generate the outputs in the form of the chinese language so sfa is not is now able to do it so this is something as in functionality has been added so which means that it opens the market uh, the chinese market for for, for the indian uh, indian consultants you can work within within your language and but can give outputs in the form of you know what they want at at, at the site soil excavation quantities quantity of steel concrete that was not been reported earlier so the boqs can be generated Uh, and uh, there is you know uh, a lot more work done over the passive pressure contribution to stability of the foundations this was actually been requested by several of the uh, of the users that uh, we actually want to consider the passive earth pressure that actually been applied by the soil so as we as we consider that you know that in the in the cases of the sliding what happens is that you know if i consider the footing as a wall so wall is moving towards the soil and of course it is applying the passive pressure on the soil so that passive pressure can be actually applied as a as a stability factor but it is an optional it is optional if you want to consider you can consider it otherwise it's an optional factor so this is something has been added further and before i i go uh, uh, you know inside the details of the uh, right so if, before i go into the details of the the merging because as i said at this point of time we have rcdc uh, which does isolated and uh, and pile caps we have rcdc fe which you just saw which can do the mat footings i just introduce you with the stat foundation advance which can do isolated combine it can do mat it can do plant as well so at this point of time we have several you know i would say there are three applications and there are some overlaps there are some overlaps within three applications so before i explain you know what what actually we, our focus is towards you know taking that 
into account and to you know uh, you know what is our focus let's let's look at a model from stat and i'll just try to export it into the stat foundation advanced uh, let's look at that as in workflow so this model i think it's already analyzed i can just click on the foundation design over here that will fire up the application over here you can see that i can uh, you know export all the supports i can export the loads from here i can just select the let's say the combinations from from this side i will include them and i'll just fire up the stat foundation advanced from here The best part is that there is no manual interface. Directly, the support uh, reactions can be transferred directly to these uh, set foundation advanced. There we go. Okay, some parts I need to explain over here. If somebody has used this before, uh, this program before. We probably need to identify the load cases over here, you know, which are the load cases, which are the strength load cases and which are uh, service load cases. It's an easy procedure now. So I can just click on the first of the load case and just define, let's say, till 125, holding down my shift key, I can uh, click on that and just say that these are my ultimate load cases and batch apply that. So it will not be a procedure of, you know, going to each and every load case and then changing its its type from the... Uh, from the default type to the uh, to the ultimate type, and similarly for the service load cases, I can do the repeat the same procedure. I can just uh, say service and batch apply that. So I have my ultimate and uh, the service load cases defined. I can click on the uh, job uh, details, creating a job. The best part here is that you know inside a single file you can have multiple you know uh, types of foundations. So in this case, what you can see is that. You know, uh, at the front point, I I have you know so many supports which are almost merging together. So what I can do, I can just design all the foundations as isolated foundations, and in the GA drawing, I can you know understand whether these foundations are overlapping, and I can just convert them into a combined foundation in the same file. I do not need to export and import again and again. So that is uh, one of the uh, the uh, the important, or I would say, uh, the best part. I just create a, a, a job here for the workflow shake. I will use uh, the Indian design course from here, SI units, assigning to all the supports and covering up all the load cases and creating the job. Design parameters, I need to define the concrete and the steel parameters over here, cover and the soil parameters. Uh, here I'll define and the bearing capacity of the soil is 120. I'll just make it as 150. And footing geometry. So inside footing geometry, we have a new logic of equal projection so that uh, you know if your column dimension or the pedestal dimension is of rectangular, so that the projections uh, that actually came out for the footing is is of the same order, so that uh, you know the equal projections has been added over here. And sliding over to any factors, and I'll click on the design. So you optimize the design for you based on the setting you have given in the geometry, the footing geometry. So, so here in the output, as if you can see over here in the output, it's giving the iterations and the number of iterations it is running. And just like STAD, we can see the uh, the analysis file running. We can see the iterations, how many iterations it has gone through, which of the footing sites it has checked and which has not been passed by by which of the checks. You can have a look at this uh, this run file to understand, you know, what are the what are the uh, the footing sizes has been already checked, and uh, you know that kind of uh, series of input can we can we you know found over here. So I'll just wait for it to complete. And as I said, I can have a we can have a look at one of the other <clears throat> module, which is the plant module of State Foundation Advanced. But I can probably you know just open a model which I have for vertical vessels foundations. So there we go. Here we go. Uh, 
uh, with the vertical vessel foundations. And as, I, as as you can see, I can define the unit uh, system, which is the SI, because I've selected the the Indian design code. If I, I have US design code also, so in case of US, I can select between the English and the SI units if I want to. Uh, let's go ahead with Indian and uh, I can click on the next button. Here I will define the geometry of the vertical vessel for it to calculate the sulfate criteria. Uh, let's click on next where I'll define the geometry. And uh, here we actually define the empty load and the operating load and the test loads from the for the vertical vessel. Now here is the actually the uh, the enhancement actually came came in regarding the program calculated wind load. It was not there before as far the uh, the IS code was concerned, but it is now available. So you can just give it the the parameters here, and it will actually do the work for you. Similarly. You know, I can just say the for the time period calculations, I can just say uh, it's a program calculated or I can input those parameters. Similarly, in the case of the seismic loads, I can come up here and say that I want to use the seismic zone selections as per Indian code. So you can see that, you know, I can select, uh, uh, I can select the city as in, you know, as, as, as what we can do with uh, with this type pro program. So city and the soil type and all that thing I can select from here. And uh, then I can you know, go ahead. So let's click on next. And uh, the load combinations can be defined as per AIC7 or the PIP codes or as per the Indian codes. And then I'll say add it. And let's go ahead and design it. So we can have a look at the calculation sheet here from the Vertical Vessel Foundations. Where the uh, first of all the the information regarding the load calculation will be given, uh, the wind calculation, the seismic calculations, and the load combinations, and then the footing will be designed. Right. Let me also have a look here. Okay, still processing is going on. Okay. By the time it completes it, let me complete this part here regarding the upcoming foundation design solution. So I, I said that, you know, there is an effective overlap between three programs designing, you know, some foundations. So what is our plan uh, now is to actually, you know, take the, the best of all within three programs. So we have three programs as, I, as, as we just mentioned, right? We have Step Foundation Advanced, we have RCDC FE, we have RCDC. So our plan is actually to take the best, so let's say whatever the best we have from the State Foundation Advance and from RCDC or from RCDC FE, we will merge it into a single program. A single program will come up soon enough where actually we can you know, design and detail, of course, you know, as far as the detailing has been concerned, we have seen in the RCDC program. That's what, you know, it, do, it does the best, uh, the detailing part. So that, till that part, we can do inside that solution. So this is where we are working on. And uh, you will see soon here from us regarding this kind of a uh, foundation design module, which will have all inside inside it. Okay, uh, so here we go. The springs, as you can see over here, and of course I can look at the GA drawing. You can I can see that there's an effective overlap. So what I can do, I can just go there and combine it into this job itself. I can just select the. Uh, the supports and say, you know, I want to do a second job, which is the combined job. And of course, in case I need a mat here, because probably I'll design it as a mat, so I can design as a mat also. It's a single file. So that's the effective part of using the, uh, the step foundation advance. The next excerpt in this series is titled IS 800-2007 Implementation in StatPro Connect Edition. A link to this video is provided here and in the description below. Thank you for watching.